Hi old folks, this is Max from uh, HighOnAndroid.com where we get HighOnAndroid.com um, I know a lot of you have been token more Android, uh, puff puff passing uh, more Android to your friends that's awesome, that's great to hear um, anyway today we're going to talk about uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery for Android and also before I begin, uh, for those of you wondering why I do hi all folks because it's kind of like um, it's like South Carolina, you know, I'm not from South Carolina, but I, I think it's kind of cool how they say it, so that's why I do it. Anyway, that was a secret. Um, anyway, uh, let's talk about clock, clock, Clockwork Mod Recovery. What is it? Um, clockwork Mod Recovery, basically, you can use it to install, backup, or uh, restore your ROMs. It can be your stock ROM, it can be custom ROM. Um, it basically saves uh, your kernel, ROM, your apps, your settings your SMS text messages, pretty much everything except for your personal media files like photos um, or videos in your inter internal storage or your SD card. Um, so how does these things work? Um, so install, let's first talk about installation of a ROM. When you install a ROM, uh, I usually tell people to wipe. You don't actually have to do that. Um, basically wipe, uh, factory reset, it erases all your personal settings, apps and stuff like that. Um, the reason why you do it because some ROMs, some custom ROMs, they have, uh, they will have, uh, they'll crash with some of the apps you already have in settings, uh, some of the system settings and stuff. So that's why you wipe. But you can always, you're welcome to try to flash the ROM without a wipe. Um, and if it runs fine, that's fine. But if you have any problems, you can always go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery and wipe after you install the ROM. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. So that's. Uh, for installing new ROMs and also uh, let's go into back backing up ROMs. Um, backing up is pretty easy. You just go to backup and restore in Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, which I'll show you. I'll walk you through after all this talking rambling. Um, basically, back up everything um, except for your personal files, the whole OS. Basically, it doesn't back up your modem though. Everything except for that. Um, and also restoring your ROM. When you restore a ROM, you don't have to wipe anything because it pretty much restores everything. So you just press restore and it'll restore your ROM. Um, if let's say I backed up my uh, ROM like last week and I restored it today, I would have the ROM I was using last week. Um, I would have the SMS messages I was I had last week, and also I would have all the uh, all the settings in the apps. Um, so it, it restores everything wherever you backed it up. So it's a great way to save yourself um, from trouble. Sometimes you can end up in a boot loop. Um, if you saved a, uh, if you backed up your ROM before and then you can, you know, restore your ROM like that, you know, within five minutes. And also, um, it's a great way to switch between ROMs. I, I install like probably 30 to 50 ROMs a week and I, uh, most, some of the ROMs I, that I like, that I want to go back to, I back it up in Clockwork Mod Recovery um, so I can, you know, restore it back to that ROM with all my personal settings. So I don't have to start all over installing the ROM with all my personal settings, uh, my Gmail, my Google+, my Facebook. I mean, if I try to install a new ROM and did, I could do it. It would take me like 20 minutes versus 5 minutes of restoring. And plus I can do it on the go, I can do it on the bus, I can do it on the train, um, anywhere. Um, so Clockwork Mod Recovery is a great way to back up, restore, install ROMs and also switch ROMs. It's the second best thing to being able to boot different ROMs. Um, so it's, it's pretty much like, you know, dual booting, but multi-booting. Um, next question, so where does your backups get stored? You probably wonder this and I, I know a lot of you uh, ask me, but um, it does get stored as files in a folder and you can actually move this folder into your hard disk so it doesn't take up space on your SD card or internal storage so you can make room for your personal files and videos and uh, that folder for regular clockwork mod recovery it's under clockwork mod folder in your SD card or internal storage um, under that there's a folder called backup and under that folder there's a, all your backups in there time stamped and also you can change the name of the folders to make it more meaningful for example I installed rocket rom yesterday then I go in there and change the folder name to rocket rom um, March 14th which was yesterday 
and that way you can kind of you know actually know what what you packed up. Um, so you can move that, those folders, those backup folders. You can put it into your hard disk. Um, you can unroot your phone, return it for a warranty, and then get the new phone, and then move the folder, your backed up folder from your hard disk back to your SD card or internal storage on your phone, and then run Clockwork Mod Recovery. And if you go to restore, you should be able to restore it there, and you should see your uh, backed up ROMs there. Um, so it's, it's a great way uh, if you get a new phone or if. Um, well, I'll stop there. So the next question, mounts and storage. A lot of people don't know this. They end up in a boot loop and they can't get into their OS and they can't, uh, I tell them to install a new ROM, but they can't copy it over to their internal storage or their SD card. Um, you can do this in Clockwork My Recovery. I'll walk you to, through later. Um, you can mount it as a USB storage. Um, in Clockwork Mod Recovery, there's a menu for that. And sometimes the Clockwork Mod Recovery, it, it will not work. And what you do then at that point is um, simply install a fresh copy of Clockwork Mod Recovery um, because probably the one you're using is one of the beta versions, one of the earlier versions um, that have the bug. So just install a new version. And uh, next one is uh, if worse comes to worse, you can get uh, these uh, micro mini SD card adapters. You just put your mini SD card here. That way you can insert it into your computer. I use it all the time. It saves me a lot of time and you should have these. Um, these usually come with it uh, when you buy a mini SD card. So save these. Um, just have them around and uh, you should be all good to go. Um, so another thing you can do with Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, one of the features is that it lets you root phones easily, especially the Samsung phones, um, the newer ones, the Galaxy Note, Galaxy S2, uh, Galaxy Tab, all those devices, you can install a uh, kernel uh, because those Samsung devices, um, they require the recovery to be in the kernel. So if you flash a kernel with Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, after you flash it and then you get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can flash the universal super user SU zip file and it will root your phone. Your root your uh, it will root your phone or it will root your tablet like instantly um, and it won't touch any of your data and you will have a fully rooted system um, with root. So that's another use of Clockwork Mod Recovery that you can kind of you know install anything on any partition of your your Android device. Um, next is uh, a lot of people use Clockwork Mod Manager or ROM Manager. Sorry, oh my dog. Um, don't use ROM Manager for certain phones. You can use it for most of the Nexus devices. All the Nexus devices, Nexus One, Nexus S, Galaxy Nexus. They're really um, made for ROM Manager, and uh, a lot of a lot of devices are actually you know work pretty well, except for the Samsung devices like Sam uh, Galaxy Note, Galaxy S2. Um, Epic 4G Touch. Don't use ROM Manager because it can mess you up. And also, also the HTC Evos, um, Evo 4G, Evo 3D. You don't want to use ROM Manager. Sometimes things can go wrong. They're not fully compatible. Um, some of them are, but just just a rule of thumb, just don't use it for those devices. And uh, there are certain devices, and you know, ROM Manager just kind of don't try to flash, um, you know, the recovery from ROM Manager. Uh, it's not a good idea. And uh, next, okay, this happens a lot. Uh, you install a new ROM, you get a bunch of forks, closes. Um, you go to the market, you download this app, but it doesn't finish downloading. I tell this to people all the time, you can clear your cache, your Dalvik cache. For those of you who don't know, cache is uh, basically a temporary space that your operating system uses to store temporary files. Um, and sometimes when you install a new ROM, what happens is those temporary files from your old ROM will crash with the new ones. So that's what's happening and you can fix this by going into Clockwork My Recovery, um, clearing cache and uh, clearing Dolly cache, which I'll also show you. And uh, let me see, the next one is, um, also there's a bunch of menus like format system and format um, stuff. Don't touch those menus unless you absolutely have to and I have a lot of people that have done that. Um, I never tell people to do that. The only thing I tell you to do is format the, uh, or not format, wipe uh, data factory reset which only wipes your data and also the cache and Dolby cache. Don't touch anything else because it can mess you up and a lot of people 
they kind of take it upon themselves to to uh you know to do that and maybe it's a misunderstanding but don't don't format anything you don't need to just keep it simple and you'll keep um stay out of trouble anyway let's go uh into one of the clockwork mod recoveries and we will actually take a look at what i've been saying you know. Hi folks, so I've got clock mod, uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery here, this is the touch version. It doesn't really matter, there's a bunch of different versions, um, there's also twerp, there's red pill. The only difference is that um, all the different recoveries you use, use a different backup folder for your ROM, so when you do backup or restore, um, it's going to be different. So stick with one, I would suggest Clockwork Mod Recovery for most devices, and some devices you can use twerp. Um, so clockwork mod recovery, the menus are pretty much the same, and here's the basics you gotta know. Um, let's start with uh, wipe data factory reset. Okay, this is the main menu. Wipe data factory reset. You do that when you uh, wanna, you know, um, wipe out your personal settings, um, your apps, and all that kind of stuff. This will do that, and this is highly advised uh, when you install a new ROM. How do I go back? There you go. So that's when you use it. And uh, like I was telling you, um, you can do wipe cache, you know, this anytime or format cache. It might, de depending on the recovery you're using, I can do that anytime. It doesn't actually affect it. It's just deleting temporary files. And also, if you go to advanced, you can uh, do wipe Dalvi cache. This also formats your Dalvi cache, which is. Uh, basically temporary files and it can help you um, get rid of rid of those force close errors when you install a new um, ROM and uh, go back here and uh, let me show you mounts and storage and uh, ignore all this you don't have to mess with any of this and some of you mess with this and ask me uh, what's wrong with my phone now and I, I don't even know you shouldn't mess with any of these mount amount unless uh, you know the directions ask you to do it to do that some ROMs do just like one out of every thousand um, so here's mount USB storage um, you just plug it in now you should be able to see the S either SD card internal storage or both and uh, if this doesn't work if you get some kind of um, usually you get UUMS error or something that means uh, the clockwork monitor recovery that you're using doesn't support it go find another version go find a fresh version install it it should work um, and you can usually install a new version of Clockwork Mod Recovery in Fastboot for most devices and all for Samsung devices you can simply flash a kernel in Odin um, so that's how you do it and let's see uh, backup and restore very simple um, depending on the recovery you have uh, you might have all these menus or you might just have backup or restore usually you will just backup or restore to your SD card but since my Samsung Galaxy Note has internal storage you can also do it to internal storage or restore from internal SD cards so just know that you have those different options and advanced restore uh, from SD card um, you can restore boot all this stuff but I wouldn't mess with it just don't mess with it I, I don't usually mess with it um, some people try to restore data from your, you know, and after installing a new ROM. I don't really advise it. Again, that could cause uh, crashing between system settings and apps. And you can try it, but um, just make sure you make a backup so you can restore. And uh, let's go back to backup and restore. And if you go to backup, you'll see uh, this is the folder um, time stamped when I last backed it up. And let me see if I have anything in my internal storage. Um, restore from internal SD card. So I have Rocket ROM there. See, I went and uh, renamed it, everything. Check ROM, Romo. So these are all different ROMs I saved so I can switch between them on the go uh, if I need to. And uh, okay. And install from zip. Install zip from SD card. This is where you flash ROMs. Um, you can flash also uh, kernels and different things you know um, you don't really have to touch anything here uh, usually you'll have choose zip from SD card but since I have an uh, internal SD card too you, I have two choices so I can choose either or and this will show you the contents of your SD card and also you can do um, there's also this menu apply SD card under uh, slash update dot zip the second one you'll never use so don't touch that 
Um, toggle script asserts as uh, basically it toggles um, checking for certain things. You don't have to mess with that ever. Um, toggle signature verification. Pretty much you never have to mess with that either. Sometimes you might have to um, if you can't install the ROM. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think I covered. Let's go back to advanced. And also in advanced, you can reboot recovery. It'll basically reboot into recovery. Uh, when you use that, is uh, if you flash a new kernel and with a new version of, let's say, I wanted to flash Red Pill Recovery because um, I wanted to install that, and then you hit reboot recovery, and it'll reboot into um, the new Red Pill Recovery. Um, wipe battery stats, it's kind of useless. It's supposed to uh, wipe your battery stats because sometimes your phone, after installing a ROM, it thinks it has no battery and this is supposed to help, but it, pff, it's never worked for me. So I don't really advise using it. Partition SD card, I don't really use it. Um, you know, if, if I, I would advise for most users to not mess with it. Uh, so all these things, fix permissions. I don't really use it. It's supposed to fix stuff, but I haven't really. Um, it hit, it didn't really help me. Um, usually, the clearing cache and Dolby cache uh, fixes everything. If that's not the problem, it's usually something wrong with the ROM. Not you can't really fix it with fixed permissions, but it's there. I mean, you can use it, but I'm just saying, um, for most users, you shouldn't need to use it. Anyway, that kind of covered what how Clockwork Mod Recovery works and uh, how you can use it. Um, if you have any questions about this, don't forget to leave in the comments. And as always, I am trying to uh, learn more stuff about Clockwork My Recovery and all this Android stuff, believe me. Um, I am still trying to learn, so if you know more than me, don't forget to, uh, you're welcome to leave comments. And teach me, I love to learn, that's why open source is cool, because we can share knowledge. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe to my channel if you have, thanks a lot. And share this with your friends uh, who have Android devices on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter. And thanks, you guys, for supporting my channel. Um, I'm going to get really... Actually, I'm really high on Android. I think i got to stop. And uh, see you all later. I smell dog poop. Did you poo here? Oh, God.